Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where we are finally going to be able to use this elevator after using, uh, uh, what do we call it, we're going to call it some sort of omnipotence, uh, metagaming, <laughs> after metagaming, let us ascend. And I want to ascend again, if we can. This was the room we came in on. Yeah, the doors are open. Can we ascend once more? Oh, baby. And there's... But people? Animated armor, animated armor, and a Bernard? Hello? Hello? Why don't I see anybody? Oh, no, they're up higher. I see, I see, I see. Okay, um... But before we go any higher, this is a new, this is like a bedroom. What you looking at? I spy with my little Oh eye. wow. Nothing of note really. Really? You're so dumb. There's obviously the Suser bark tree. Suser tree, I just cannot stop calling it. In Suser bark tree. <laughs> Ooh, mage's friend. Arcana and religion would be nice. Send those to camp. Arcana and religion would be good for, um, Ka, or what's her name? Mmm, Shadowheart, too. But this is the kind of thing that I would use, because I don't use them to talk to other people, which I, maybe I should, but I don't. I don't know, know a lot of my friends do. Like, they'll, they'll, like, beef up Will to beef, please. you know, because he's a warlock, so he's charismatic. But I also have heard people using, um, Asterian for their questionable decisions. Or Lazelle. Like, things where they're like, morally, I don't know if I can do this, you know? On my way. Oops. No time to rest. So, um, that's kind of what I was doing, wood. too. Yeah? Yeah, is there an issue? Is there an issue, game? Little tower? The Roads to Darkness. The Roads to Darkness, an epic tragedy about power, corruption, and loneliness. Prologue, a lonely road. Thunder and lightning enter Soreth, Soreth. New sounds through damp and dark oppression break. Is it the foe, that foul contemptuous heel? Or art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely wake? Come out of love for me, not love for blood and steel. Winter Rhysia. Rhysia, how would I know? How would I know, Soreth? It's been so long. What do I know of you and you of me? 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 <laughs> Soreth. Wait, do you hear that sound? <laughs> Hark! <laughs> Uh, enter Amphius. Amphius, what's this? These, those figures so familiar both, but still you seem so strange. Soreth, it's Amphius. Rhysia, dear Amphius, what happened to your face? It's pale as death. Soreth, your eyes are black as char. Amphius, and you, I saw your teeth, they're sharp as blades, and what is with this road so slick with blood? What happened here? What happened to us all? Exunt. End of prologue. Act one, uh, ten years prior. The rest of the play tells a tale of three elven friends, their paths to power, and how corrupted, mad, and lonely they killed each other. I would read the heck out of that, and I would cry the whole time. Obviously, somebody was very lonely here, and enjoyed plays. Dearest Lenore, also somebody who ever gave Lenore her name, loves Poe, which doesn't so Poe loved writing, um, I think he loved writing essays, poetry, and like critiques? Not really a playwright, but... Dearest Lenore, I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a boulette? Oh yeah, the digging, the digging thing. Just because you found it near Minus grave doesn't mean that it's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A boulette is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs, Amareth. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the autumn crocus flowers on Minus grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Okay, wow, yep. You know, you think it, I thought I was a person, and it's like, oh, that's sad, but the dog is like, 
Oh, they like those are the flowers they like to roll around in. Uh, I'm especially soft about dogs and hearing about the death of dogs. I, you know, it's been a couple of years since my dog died, but you know, it leaves little little scars, little scars on your heart. So that's really sweet, honestly. Whoa. Okay, let's send these to Gale. Just because be I can't, I have. Yeah, I can't, uh. Oh my gosh. Get them mind flares. Let me... What was that? <laughs> hmm. I don't know if we've read that or not, but. That is definitely not normal sounds. Lessons for Sensible Living, AMAP's Memoirs. A halfling humanist whose writings advised fair and peaceful ends to- a hu What a name. I know the humanist like, like sort of philosophy or ideologies, right? But what a name to have to use. My life has been a long succession of pleasures to see my town take to my ideas and cease legal discrimination of local orcs, to see my fights against horrid living conditions in city factories take off, to have the chance to see a new generation take to these ideas of a better, kinder, fairer, intelligent world, and run with it to new reaches of the continent. It was not a life without struggle, however, and I shall regret its failures. My old friend Suelto comes to mind, who adopted such cruel ideologies later in life. I will forever console myself in the idea that such a brilliant mind could only would only conceive such theories under the strain of exile and the promise of reinstatement as she ultimately was. Okay, okay. Skull. Of course she has a skull on her desk. Oops, I... A word of advice. Oh, thank you. Wizards' towers can be volatile places. They keep their secrets buried and their dangers close to the surface. Mm -hmm. One misplaced spell and you might find yourself thrown into limbo, fighting off a death slard with a very nasty temper. Is that what you I'm did? I'm sure whatever's on your mind poses no such risk, but caution is to be advised. Now, what can I do for you? How has he always had that earring? Yeah, that was a very specific warning one based on personal experience. Ah, quite. A misadventure from my days as an apprentice at Blackstaff Academy. I was but a child, only a few months into my studies, but already I knew I was destined for greatness. Oh, don't they all? No one believed me, <laughs> of course. So I decided to prove it, to cast a spell with the Blackstaff itself. From one perspective, I succeeded. No. I opened a portal. However... Instead of pointing it at the first year dormitory, I found myself pulled into limbo, facing a very irritated death slad. Fortunately, the Black Staff himself came to the rescue, hauling me back from the brink and straight into several months of writing lines. Or rather, finessing my autograph. Oh yeah? Oh my gosh. Now, much as I enjoy reminiscing about such tomfoolery, I believe we have more pressing matters at hand. I'm surprised any mage tower else? with any apprentices it finds itself intact. You guys have anything to say? May the darkness protect no? you. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> da 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 da. Gotta loot Lenore's personal idea? things. I think if I ever had a daughter at, 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 at any point in my weird twisting life that goes a variety of places, I think I'd, I'd Lenore is a good one. Lenore is a good name. Uh, padded armchair, anything, anything, anything. Or engraved Githyanki disc. That's in my pack. Where is that? Is that? Such a strange disc. Are these Githyanki markings? Lazelle might know. Why was that over there? And I got to click on it over here. To the gray. 
From Bower Cure we made our stand, meant to rule but led astray, by wicked tentacle and wicked hand, thus world belongs to the grey. Orindil stole all we had, yet taught the weapons by which to slay. Forge your minds to ironclad, this world's belong to the grey. So this is the ironclad gnomes, maybe, and the grey are what they call the Duragar. The exile freed us with his command to conquer what was taken away, crush every monument into finest sand. This world belongs to the gray. Trade your heart for steel and tent, for with whip and with, with for with whip and mind we flay. Let them all hear of our descent. The world is nothing but gray. Dark. Okay. Okay. Man. The careful art of cipher, cy typers, ciphers. Read. Hey, there's it's nothing. like a tablet. <gasps> An engraved disc of Githyanki origin containing a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gith dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter such archaic writings. We had one right over there, right behind us. The writing on the torn out strip of paper is shaky and blotted with tears, making it barely legible. The silence the silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands for just a while? Well, I get that you can feel isolated, right? It seems like Lenore was feeling very, very isolated. But she had people who were reaching out to her. She had those two, the, the brotherhood or whatever. Uh, not a brotherhood, the, the circle of dudes. The circle of people, rather. Uh, the, the peacekeeper, the utopian people. Um... What were they called? I can't remember. With the with the hobgoblin guy, and then whoever this person in the letter is. But you still feel like those people, even if those people are around, you can feel you can very feel very self isolated, and it feels inescapable. Even if people are reaching their hands out to you, right? It's like you're stuck in your own head, you know. Um, and I think the Lenore had like a tie to this place, maybe because of um, year. Uh, st spark struck um, and was trying to finish whatever work they were working on, like both of them together. And it seems like Lenora's maybe long lived and maybe Year was less long lived as a gnome. I think they were a gnome. Hmm. Uh, should I? I am going to run to camp, and I'm going to see if I can talk to Lazelle about this. Lazelle, let me speak First to you. in my heart. Ask Lazelle about the disc from the Underdark. The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazelle sees it too and considers the vision. Tirsu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story about. about Orpheus. Orpheus? Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's. But it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. Orpheus, like, you know, uh, the guy who went to Hades to get back his lost love. That is actually a very Poe-like story in a way. The lost love Lenore, you know, how Poe po loved to write about. Well, there's, I can't remember which poem it is exactly. Is it, is it called Lenore? I don't remember. There's at least one short story or poem, and poem, that involves a, a woman named Lenore. Probably probably because the name sounds so beautiful, right? Poe loved beautiful sounding things. Um, he's known for the macabre, but he loved to write about beauty also. Um, but it was like a... Oh, it's, I'm not gonna go. I, I, there's, I did a whole bunch of papers and research on Poe back in the day, and I really enjoyed reading that stuff. But uh, it's been a long time. Um, it was very, it, it was very. His stuff was very much like many people of the time. His idea of beauty was um, um, affected by tuberculosis. It's a fascinating, actually, like the, the, the fainting, wispy, pale woman. You know, 
um, because, and she was always oh, so sick, you know, um, and that's because I think his wife, who was his cousin, who was very young, uh, she died at a young age, too, um, from tuberculosis, and, uh, so, I don't know, I feel like his idea of beauty was, was warped by that. Um, anyway, Orpheus goes to the, goes to Hades to retrieve his lost love, Eurydice, um, and has to go through all these, you know, trials and stuff to get to her and almost gets her out, right? But then he does the one thing he's not supposed to and he turns around to look at her and she gets sucked back into the underworld, you know? Um, whereas Lenore, he brings, whoever the nameless protagonist or whatever he is, is, um, brings Lenore back in the, he has Lenore, he marries and he loves her and she dies and then he marries, I think, I'm, I'm remembering right, he marries again and um, this woman ends up being haunted by Lenore and then she ends up dying and then is possessed by Lenore. And so it's this weird, twisted, macabre love story, you know, where she's like, I loved you so much, I came back from the dead for you. I possessed the body of this woman so that I could be with you again, you know? So anyway, this is very, if this is all just like intentional, it's very interesting, I like it. Um, who's Orpheus? A traitor, a dead one. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. You'll bear it just fine and tell me what it says. Very well. I will read it to yeah, you. Yeah, tell me. The Prince of the Comet, Part 1. So it Story was time. that we were free from gay shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the Empire against the Mother's wishes. Oh. But Gith had nurtured a son. Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. This is the schism. This is the schism between the Gith. Disregard this... this drivel. Gith declared Vlakith Queen of the Empire and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Gith. Hmm... We are, we are a questioning paladin. I know she's probably not gonna like it. I just want, it's like, what if it's true? You know, it sounds like a lot of, we're gonna have a lot of questioning here with Lazelle questioning what she's been brought up to believe, Shadow Heart being questioning what she's been brought up to believe, my character, Ulvadira, is questioning what she was brought up to believe, right? Now that she's like, she's gone down the path of an oath, oath breaker. Um, I don't know about the others. Will, Gail, Carla. I don't really seem to have that particular issue, but it's interesting that we've got at least three. <laughs> Asterion's definitely not. Asterion's got his own issues, definitely. Very particular issues to deal with. Um, the story reeks of propaganda. It could be propaganda. That is fair. Why are you so worked up as only a story? That's such a dumb thing to say. I really, that's my biggest complaint with this game is that the conversational options for the player character are bald, like, they're, they're balder, dash. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there. They're, they're garbage. <laughs> uh, I don't, they're very, at least Dragon Age had, like, a bit of nuance. Like, some, sometimes not enough, but, like, you had several options that were different, like, tones or, or emotional responses that you could do. Whereas in this game, I feel like you're just kind of a dummy, um, and, I mean, I like the, the race-specific and the class-specific options, of course, but, uh, the rest of it is a little weird. Um, like, a little shallow. Like, you're either a jerk or you're an idiot, you know, or super nice. Like, that's it, you know? And I wish there was a bit more nuance. If it's true, it sounds like Blacketh betrayed Gith and seized the throne. It's so weird to hear the name Gith associated with a goddess figure instead of being lowercase g. Like Gith the people, Gith Yankee. 
it's only a story like this is like the basis of her like entire life like stories are the basis of religion of society of culture like you know only an, only a moron would say that she did nothing of the okay sort. she didn't disprove thank your good fortunes i'm a tolerant woman or i'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting why my toes bye okay I want to go use the device still. Did did anybody teleport away? No. Okay. I want I want to I want to bring it with me. Could I put the artifact in there? Uh. Wonder if I like. Prince of the Comet, Betrayal. I mean, it's nice that I have Lazelle who can read it. I guess I'll pick it up. If everyone else Ooh. minds their business. If everyone else if minds their business. Let's be on my way. What am I trying to do here? Wooden chest. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. A ring. Okay, I believe we have noodled around in her stuff. Oh, not enough, apparently. Mm. Ooh. We already have those. I'm just worried I'm missing stuff. Oops. I do want to pick that one up. I'm just worried that like uh, these books and stuff might it might trigger like the possession of them right might trigger conversational options. Who that? Why is the music like this? All right, let's go further. Uh, ascend. I can't. Oh, okay. Hello. Don't hit me. New sounds oh. 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 You know. Yeah, these yeah, words. yeah. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Code words. Um. Or art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely wake? What an interesting code, like, catch and response type thing. Attack it while it waits for an answer. No. Or art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely way? Come out of love for me. Not love for blood and steel. Come on, as you feel good, my lord. Don't. Excuse me? Don't get me wrong. I love poetry as much as an ex wizard, but using it to command an automaton seems a bit self indulgent to me. <laughs> to each their own. Um. What is this play? Um, how can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? There is a light in every living thing. I want to ask these questions, but I don't know if it will respond in that phrasing. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? You do not believe the secret show. Reveal the truth. Do what you wish to see. This one's named. I don't... I don't know what just happened there. I, I cannot talk to him again? I have to give up myself to see what I wish to see? I don't know. Just got a bunch of animated armor here. Yes, let me talk to you again. Okay, since he, since it's also talking in, what is this place? Yeah, okay. Okay, I was curious if because it was talking in like regular words, if I could do that. If I could do that also, but apparently not. There was a light in every living thing. No, let's see the sign. Hmm, I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands for just a while? Of course, my love. Don't be afraid, sweet girl. 
Uh oh. <laughs> yes. Come here. His arms are too tight and too low for a comfortable hug, as if he's meant to be embracing someone slightly shorter. Remember, you are loving yep. all so much. Yep. Would you embrace him, and everyone will be so proud of you. Proud of you, as I already am. Bernard, that's not the name of your spark struck. And how do we know it's... She's, she's obviously crafted this automaton to keep her company. And to say the things that she wished people would say to her. Seems like a good moment to talk. There is a light in every living thing that's crawling towards the surface to survive. And in its way, it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest, so that the one can thrive. Uh oh. Yay! Oh, come on! Oh, do I gotta do all that all over again? I don't wanna do that. Okay, so I went back. Ah, uh, because I did not wanna fight them. And we'll hopefully not have to do it again. I picked up the disc thing from the table, like the one that read the strange gift runes. I talked to Lazelle, um, and got my got the story read. Uh, yeah, we have this discovered history. Um, I'm not sure what broken machinery parts would be useful for. Guiding light? What is... What is that? Oh! Used by the previous owner to access both the Underdark's darkest corners and her own basement, the ring seems to reflect light where there should be none. Who does Attention. not... <gasps> Should I give Karlak a ring of light? I've got a long I should. way ahead. No rest for the wicked. I should I definitely give Karlak a ring of light. Let's get going. Or Gale? Let me burp my magic. No one back home will ever believe this. Let's give it to Karlak. I think light could be useful to have. I have oh. dancing lights, but. Oh yeah, we have the Susur great sword. Oh, in my friend's game, we got one that's like Fate, not Faith Breaker. Um, is it Faith Breaker? No, it's one that when you jump, you do like a thunder dam damage. It's like a br not a, a German sounding one, but I'm gonna give her the the great sword because it does a little bit better damage, I think. But if we need bludgeoning, we've got we've got the stuff for it. Um. Oh yeah, wrath. Wrath. At the ready. Uh, not you, not you. Although it might At be good to have stay interesting. Inspect the. Although, ha! <laughs> look at it. Ah, it gets darker. Choice. I'm pretty sure it gets darker. Gale, and then Balls me. Well I ends. have dark vision. Not as bad Whoa. as it could have. Oh, but I was look. Oh, guiding light. That's right. That was the ring. Okay. Well. Time to press ahead. I don't want to make anybody mad, but I do want to have a little look. See. I cannot talk to the animated armor. Scree. I was like, what? Screech. I wonder if these guys were active or um. They only turned on when I turned on the power. Oh, I might just have to fight these guys, but I don't I don't I don't see any reason to. I think I would just rather leave them in peace. Oh boy, potion of mind reading and a health potion. Well, Maybe I have Carl. Wait, is that nope. What is the Oh, 
I didn't get put it on her. I was like, why? Infuse an object with light. I don't know what she put it on. I think she put it on her clothing, on herself. Oh, perception. Eh? La, la, la. Is that because of the better light? Oh, come on. Did all of us fail it? Is that blood? No, never mind. This is why, because she, the light ring should be important. It is a difficulty 18, perception, wisdom modifier. Why can't I see it? <gasps> that might be worth a look. Oh, you guys, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, let's save. Oh, that was, oh, that was so, oh gosh, I'm so excited. Like, she had the ring cantrip, right? Like, the light cantrip. And they were talking about how light is, like, her whole thing here. Like, just different kinds of light, power sources. Um, but like light was involved and like lightning and I was like surely at some point light is going to become useful and Then they have the ring over there and I was like surely <laughs> It's gonna be there's a reason for it. I do actually want Well, no, I should probably keep bludgeoning if I have Making to fight machinery here I should keep oh, we need to mark that for Where's I should keep... oh she put it on the sword Kidding. Let's keep the sword for a bit then. Oh, I see it now. I didn't see it before, but it is actively glowing. I was trying to put it on her clothing, but oh, that's fine. Not you. No, I want to pull the lever. Dang, Nabbit. What did I. What was there that needed to be. Levered. I don't know. Nothing up here, it would seem. So maybe we work our way back down. Moving ahead. Handy ring. It revealed this button. What? Oh, huh? Okay, we need to be walking around with light all the time. Basement. What? Because the ring description said walking around in her basement, but there wasn't a- we hadn't access to basement yet. Oh, sneaksy! I bet you that lever pulled something in the basement then. You know, I thought having dark vision would be enough. Like, because I, I have super dark vision, so I haven't been using light. Um... But, uh, like, or torches. Like, I mean, I was a little bit at the beginning, but then I was like, it was annoying getting into fights while I had my torches, like, on, you know? The spooky condensers and alembis. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, Gail, you get to have all the scrolls. You know, give Carl like a flying one, why not? I do want spores. Gilded chest. Where's that? Oh no. First, we complete what's down here. Fringe philosophy. Oh, basilisk oil. More of that. I love that stuff. Very handy to have. I haven't used it much, but I, I know when I will be able to use it, I'll be very happy. Jeez Louise, scroll of magic weapon. Scorching right. You know what? Here, Carlac, you have these. I'm not giving Shadow Heart anything because I don't take Shadow Heart out very often. Magic of the Weave. If you try to understand the Weave, a true pity for only those who are, they who are truly attuned to the Weave can rightly call themselves spellcasters. Thus comes the question, what is the Weave? It is an essential element of the universe. It runs through everything in unseen threads. It is what makes magic possible. It is also, though I will go not go for, into further detail here, the goddess Mistra herself. See, plane of the weave, Mistra and the spell plague. The weave isn't magic precisely, rather it is the raw material from which magic is woven, not entirely unlike how a collection of threads is shaped and formed into a garment. Those with the necessary talent and skill can manipulate the weave and perform magic by casting spells. 
Developing this, developing this skill takes years of learning and constant practice. You might have heard of those who can cast spell because they are born with an innate connection to the weave, commonly called sorcerers, or wars because they struck a bargain with an otherworldly creature, also known as warlock. Do not be deceived. Their magic is unpredictable, uncontrolled, and in some cases not even rightfully theirs. No, to truly know and manipulate the weave is an art, but those wizards who master will know the limitless power and beauty the weave provides. The blurb for the book said something about how the, um, author was clearly biased, which is very true, very obvious. Yeah, yeah, Caroline, you have that. An open letter, oh, we did read that one before. Wow, this looks like the one that, uh, that, that this guy over here has. Yeah, they look exactly the same. Mistress Blessing grants, grants an additional 1d4 to saving throws and weapon attacks. And an additional 2d4 to spell attack rolls. Wow. You're good. Salutations. Although I do feel like maybe we might get in trouble for that. Oh wow, this this one is much better than the, the, the other one is. We will keep it. But we just stole, I'm pretty sure what was Lenore's. Oop, that was that's fine. Carly can have the Soul Coins book. Wow, the spark swell. The wearer can't be electrocuted. When the inventor year met the cleric Lenore, sparks flew apart. They were in a rut, but together they inspired each other to push the boundaries of innovation and invention. This ring is just one of their many scientific triumphs. Um, you know what? I don't think Gail has any rings, so sure. Elixir of Lightning Resistance, Arcane Cultivation. You can keep that. Dehearse Diary. The otherwise plain book has the word L. Dehearse and Diary written on the front in faded silver ink. Sure, you can take that. I will send that to Ovidira. Let's move. Is her is Lenore's last name DeHurst? Chris Cursive fills the page of the diary, detailing the daily struggles of a cleric of Mistra studying the magical properties of the Underdark. The last entry dates back about ten years. Has nobody checked in on her in ten years? Who would have thought three years ago that I would start a diary, not a research journal, but a real diary? I guess when every soul is more like to kill you than converse with you, talking to a book starts to make sense. And who would have thought three years ago that I would be called back to Baldur's Gate to confer with other clerics of Mistra right at the apex of my studies. I have all the pieces, but I have barely started my treatise. No matter, I will take my ring with me to show them the glimpse of the possibilities. I will leave you my dear book here, together with the rest of my research waiting to be finished. I should be back before next chess. Didn't happen. Uh, apparently... On death and resurrection. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that befits best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. What a statement to say, right? About like an afterlife. Weighing the souls. It's uh, very similar like the Egyptian style, right? Like the ancient Egyptian of like weighing your heart against a feather. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. I think we have read this before, but it's interesting that we find it here. She had works on Githyanki death. And like magic and plays. I'm definitely not leaving any stone unturned here. As best I can. The Tongue of Madness! I hope she doesn't mind. She hasn't been here in 10 years, apparently. Excavation of the Enclave of Enclave and how? Oh, I'm having a hard time. 
reading words out loud. Elminster said, Naloth was a wonder to behold when it floated in Faerun's sky. He was surely right. This Netherese enclave was a jewel in the empire of magic with towers that pierced the heavens. And yet it fell, just as all Netherese enclaves did, crashing down when Karsis' folly ripped magic from the world. But even after it collapsed into the sea, its ruins still hold a strange, strange twisted beauty. I traveled here from Halrua when I heard the sea had retreated and the ruins of Nahoth were visible once again. Alas, that's not the first. Looters! Mmm, the bane of my existence. Looters have stripped the enclave of its material wealth, destroying much of its esoteric riches in the process. I found arcane books to make used to make campfires. Ah! What moronic... Oh my gosh, looters are so dumb. They're so so dumb like they don't even know like they don't know what they, or they don't either they, or it's willful ignorance malicious ignorance you know like they don't that's the big thing is they just don't care to them it's like a toy or monetary there's nothing like there's no bigger picture to it like it's so 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 much is lost so much knowledge is lost because of people being uncaring could you imagine like oh my gosh an ancient Netherese ruin is, ex is 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 exposed. Like every government on the continent should have been sending representatives to study and to protect it, and instead it gets, of course, people with such small-minded ambitions get in there first. Hmm. I've met some Shadowvar here whose interests align with mine, and we have agreed to search the ruins together. I'm grateful for these allies. The ruins are mostly filled with thick skulled adventurers, but I cannot shake the feeling that someone is watching us, waiting to see what we uncover. Yeah, I want that. That goes in my, uh, my archaeology book. Never um, wanted the easy path. Table. Co uh, cabinet? Bookshelf. Mm -hmm. I figured it out eventually. Metal door. E. I'm scared. Oh, it was this. The, the lever probably opened up this door. Well, I think we've gotten everything. I think I'll go ahead and call it here. I might actually look it up just to see if there's anything down here in particular I should be looking at. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.